does it take to master skills? What does it take for you to master a skill? You see, let me tell you one thing you, each and every one of you will first of all understand. One of the things each and every one of us will understand is this. Each and every one of us are born in success right from birth. And each and every one of us have the potential to be great. Each and every one of us have the capacity to be great. You understand me? But first of all, it first of all start. You can master any skills. There is nothing like this person is better than me. This person can speak better than me. You can actually master and you speak better than someone. You can do that. You can master it. You can actually master and learn how to prospect right. You can equally master and learn how to do invitation when you make invitation calls. It comes in perfect. You master it. Now, the first, what first thing it takes to master a skill, number one step it takes is what? It takes what? Number one, decision. Decision. That's the first step. It takes decision to master a skill. Decision. You see, let me say this. Everything about success starts from decision. Everything about achievement starts from decision. That is it. Everything you want to achieve on earth, it first of all starts from what? Decision. Decision. A decision. If you have not yet decided to be better, if you have not yet decided to be a master, in a particular field, you will never become by luck. Because it's the decision that makes you go through the process of the training. It's the decision that makes you go the process of what learning. Decision. It's not what you have not yet decided to. Most of us here, you've been making series of invitation call and you are not getting signed up and you have not yet decided to master the skills of invitation. You have not yet decided. You are just doing it. You are just doing it. one day, don't worry, one day somebody will sign up. You will just be getting people that are attending the meeting by a lock. You were lucky. You are not sure whether you will get another result. Because you have not yet decided to master the skills of what? Invitation. The same thing goes with what? Even prospecting. Prospecting is, a, is, is another, you've not yet made a decision to master the skills in prospecting. And every day you are making the same mistake on and on and on and on and on. And you are not bothered about it. You're okay with it. You are just telling yourself, don't worry, it will get better. Don't worry, let me do another one. No, no. If you become comfortable with abnormal, Abnormal turns to normal in your head. Write it down. If you become comfortable with abnormal, abnormal turns to normal. And guess what? You don't feel it bad again because you are not getting the results. You are not getting it right. And then you, are not, you don't want to equally master the skills that will make you start getting it right. You've not even decided. Just do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. That's one of the things it takes to master the skills, decision. Now you have decided, you see, in this business, I must get to the top. There is no other thing, I'm not, it's no other thing. This particular one, I'm going to the top. I will learn everything it takes. In fact, let me start from this particular one. You have decided, and you have, and now, some of us, you've not yet decided, you see this business, no matter, no matter what comes in it, I am not quitting. I will never give up. I must reach to my peak. It's decision that first of all puts you in a table of what? Mastering. Decision. It puts you in a table of mastering. Because when you, have, when you see a man that has made a decision, even when he's talking to you, you know that this person is finished. When you see a man that has made a decision, when he speaks, you know that this person is another super force. You know that this person is rising to the top. Decision. 
decision is the first thing. So if there is any aspect you wanted to be a master in, first thing first is to decide. Decide to master it. When you make a decision, you move to the second one, put enthusiasm in it. You put enthusiasm in it. Do you understand me? Enthusiasm makes you, even when you've not yet seen results, but you are happy, you are, you, and you, are, you are rushing, you know, you want it, you are putting in, you, you know, oh, there's what we call enthusiasm. You see, let me tell you, you see, the enthusiasm definition is something that is so funny. If I, I got it from, <laughs> let me just, let me just read it. Enthusiasm. I will just, I will just I'll tell you what the dictionary just said about enthusiasm. Intensity, intensity of feelings. <laughs> intensity of feelings. That's enthusiasm. That was the definition. <laughs> excited interest. Excited interest or eagerness. Excited interest. Some of us. In fact, maybe you have decided, but guess what? They are still pushing you. People are still pushing you. I am running a training. If not, that maybe your leader called you to log in. You may not log in. Forget you are not enthusiastic. Forget about enthusiasm. It's not for you. Enthusiasm is like being obsessed. Obsessed. Obsessed for a thing. You are obsessed for a thing. You have a high intensity of feelings to get something done, to understand something. You have a high intensity of feeling to know something you don't know. That is what enthusiasm. You see, when you put enthusiasm after you have made a decision, it, it pushes you. You see, let me tell you people one thing. Let me tell you people one thing. Even some of us that are praying for every day you are praying, you are praying for God to do a particular thing, maybe for you. And guess what? God will look at you. You are praying, praying, but there is no enthusiasm. <laughs> it's the same thing I'm telling you. The same thing goes with every natural thing in life. You don't get your desired result on something you do when you feel like, you know, on something you do on a low mood, you know, something you do, uh, I'm just, I've been telling him now, I've been telling him, I've been telling you to teach me this, you don't want to teach me now. You will see somebody, you are telling your leader, you know, I've been telling you to teach me this, if I call you, if I'm telling you to, you don't want to teach me now, let me stop. You are not serious. There is no enthusiasm. Enthusiasm makes you, the person is trying to push you away, you are chasing it. That is enthusiasm. The person don't want to see you, you wait. By the time you wait and wait and wait, you wait. You see, that thing you are looking for will come in by force. <laughs> the person will teach you by fire by force. That is enthusiasm. <laughs> oh no. Most of us here, yeah, you wanted success, but you don't want it as bad as you beat. You don't want success yet. You don't want it as bad as you breathe. You are being reminded on something you are supposed to do. You are being reminded to learn something. You are being reminded. Let me tell you, if you see some of these top footballers, they will tell you they were learning a particular shot. They were learning for thousands of times. Learning a particular thing every day. They were busy learning a particular thing every day. Particular thing every day. After the whole thing, he becomes a master in it. He becomes a master because there is a high level of enthusiasm. There is this possession to know, possessed to know, obsessed. Uh, let me use the word obsessed to know. It's the same thing. I, I like, I prefer possessed. People will think you are stupid. I prefer possessed. Obsession and possession. You are possessed to know something. That is what enthusiasm. If you have decided to put enthusiasm, watch what will happen. Then after enthusiasm, the next one is what time. Putting the time to know it. Most of us here, yeah, time is what something. Every day, every day, whenever you wanted to learn something, but guess what? 
every day you are checking time. I wanted to show somebody an opportunity. Guess what? The person said, man, man, I don't have time. Oh, I don't have, I don't have up to five minutes. That's okay. Okay. You don't have up. I don't have up to 10 minutes to stay here, which is okay. No problem. You can go please. where you have the time. Let me know. That is it. <laughs> person don't have time. And then you say you wanted to know. You wanted to be successful. You wanted to be good in this particular field. Doctor, come. You came to meet me. Doctor, there is something I wanted to find out. Please, please, I'm in haste. I'm in haste. Wait, even if I hear that word, I'm in haste, I'll just remove you. Because <laughs> you're not ready to give any time and you wanted to know. How would you know something you did not invest time in? How? You wanted to be a master in a particular field and you are not ready to put in the time. Most of us are taking men, the number, you know, this, this training we are doing every day, man. If you know, the, I am burning a lot of data for it. Okay, maybe it's for you when you will travel outside the country, when you travel outside the country and then pay money in dollars just for a training. That's the one you will appreciate. You wanted to be a master in a particular field, but when it comes to time, you don't want to invest the time in it. Forget it. You will never be a master. Even some of our leaders does not log into this training. And guess what? They wanted to be like Dr. Victor. How do you become like Dr. Victor? How do you become like those top leaders you are looking up? Hey, man, when will I start making this money? You will not make it because you're not ready to do what they did. If you know what I know and start doing what I'm doing, that is where you start seeing the same result I'm getting. Time. Time is one of the most precious things that you understand that it is needed to you to master anything you wanted in life. Time. You must invest your time in it. That is it. Another skill, another thing it takes to master, to master a skills is what? Efforts. Efforts. What, it, what do I mean by effort? Effort means this. There will be a time we will be trying that thing. You will be trying that thing and you are not yet getting the result, but you kept on putting in the effort. After you have learned it with time, you start investing effort. Effort to know. Effort to understand. Effort, that is, you need it heavily. I know a lot of people, I remember last time I traveled to Lagos, somebody stayed in a hotel for complete three hours. After staying in a hotel for three hours, he came to the training just to do a training of one hour. <laughs> he stayed in the hotel for three hours. Imagine the time it took him and the effort, he paid money. That is it. So tomorrow, when you see the person become a master, you wanted to be like him, but he does not want to know the process it took him to master that skills. Efforts. Another one is what patience. 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 A lot of us are always in haste. If you do it for the first three times, if it did not work, you give up. If you do it for the first 10 times, if it did not work, you give up. You are not ready. If Thomas Edison spent almost 999 times to invent a light bulb, I don't know. That should tell you that that young man is ready to go through extra 1,500 times. He's ready to put in the patient. And guess what? It's only when patience eh, marries effort, time, and enthusiasm that you're... You see, you see, Mastery is confirmed to manifest. When patient married effort, time, enthusiasm, and decision, mastery is confirmed to manifest. Mastery. If you have told yourself, no matter, I, I, I was speaking to one young guy, he told me, you see this business, I will do this business all my life. So, in fact, all my life, I will do this business until I break through. Even if I succeed, I'll still be doing it. I just know that this guy is already confirmed success in the making. He's ready to have patience for a long haul. Patient. Patient. Let me give you an example of patient. Somebody started this business with one account. He has been learning through the process of training, learning through the process of training. 
after one month, he did not get a single sign up. Instead of him slowing down, guess what? He, he even increased his account to three accounts. Then after two months, he did not get signed up. He was going through all the training, having patience, learning through the whole process. From three accounts, he's not still getting signed up in two months, but he has been learning all the process of the training. Guess what happened? He increased his account from three accounts to 15 accounts. That should tell you that that guy is already born success. There is nothing that will stop that guy. He's patient enough to go through the process of training to break through. If you don't have patience, what you are looking for may not happen in your first month. But will you have patience to wait until it manifests? Will you have patience to wait and learn the process until it manifests? Because the truth of it all is, I've, one thing I've discovered in this business is this. So as long as you are in this business, so as long as you are doing the right thing, so as long as you are learning the skills and the process, guess what? You must rise to the top. It's the only way you lack some of these things, you lack patience, you will miss it even before the time comes. What normally happens to most people is that whenever they are getting to the top of the hill, that is even when their patient will start giving up. They will just start giving up. They are already at the top of breaking through, but they are already giving up. Patience. Patience. You need patient heavily, patient heavily to become a master in a field. Then another one is what repetition, repetition. Be ready to do it over and over and over and over and over again. If you're not ready to do it over and over and over again to master it, then you are not ready to be a master. That is why when you have tried it multiple times and finally you master it, you don't spend much time again, you don't spend much effort again, you don't spend much energy again, you just spend even much repetition. But guess what? You just do it bad. You get your results. And when you do it, you know that the result is sure to manifest. Because you have already burned the bridge, you have already spent the time, you have already put in the effort, you have already put in the patience to master it. When you master it, you become a master in it. And when you become a master, guess what? Everything, effort, activities, everything is reduced. But guess what? Like I was telling, I was telling people, you see, when our system came out, our system did not come out, um, did not come out just by that. System came out because there are people that pay the price. Some people pay the price to make that system to come out. The system we are enjoying today, some people pay the price to make it come out. There was a time there was no system and they were paying the price, we were paying the price. And today, the system came out. And today, since the system have come out, guess what? A lot of people have been using it to make money. But guess what? There are some of us there. The system came out. You are seeing people that are using it to make money. You are seeing that it is working. But you did your own. It's not working for you. And guess what? You don't want to come down and understand the system. And understand the system. And master the skills in the system. Master why you must learn the system. You are not ready to do that. And guess what? What it means is this. Your result you are expecting may not really surface the way you want it. So repetition is not the last thing you, and second to the last thing you need to become what? A master in any skills you wanted to get to. Repetition. Tell yourself I will repeat it thousand times until it starts working. Let me talk about the last one. The last thing it takes to master the skills. The last one is what? Mentor. You need a mentor. You need a mentor. Who is a mentor? A mentor is somebody that have reached where you wanted to go. 
a mentor, just be writing that a mentor is somebody that has reached where you wanted to go. A mentor, again, is somebody that has experienced everything you are supposed to have is supposed to experience in your journey. A mentor is somebody that you listen to. When your mentor says, stay here, you stay here. When your mentor says, go, you go. Let me give you an instant. Uh, there is somebody, I, I advised her on what she will do so that she will just shift to the next level. You know what she did? She started analyzing and paralyzing. She has started trying to tell me the one that will suit her. She's trying to tell me the one I, I, I will do, it will work and the one I will I just looked at her, I just said to myself, this person is not serious yet. You wanted me to guide you through on what you will do. And I've, I, I called you and I, got, I said, you do this thing and watch it and see what will happen. And you are analyzing and paralyzing. And you know that I have crossed through the same paths and I'm out of it. If you are not ready to listen to somebody, you see, <laughs> you will keep, it will take you more years to master. Some of you here that are enjoying, you see, you know, when we are talking about this business, some of you will be thinking I've been in this business for four years. For your information, I've not been in this business for four years. If I calculate the number of years I spent in this business, it's getting to like eight years. Because there was a time I was spending years to learn, to learn, to learn. During the, my course of learning, I wasn't earning anything. If you don't have a mentor, now let me tell you one thing. You see, you either learn either from your mistakes or you learn from your mentor. Two things. You, that, in fact, the, the end of it all is you must learn something. Either from your mistakes or from your mentor. Now you choose. If you learn from your mistake, that means you burn many years to master a skill. But if when you learn from your mentor, your years is reduced by one tenth. It's not still actually the truth is that you will still take a time, take a process. But guess what? When you have a mentor, the process becomes slow to master a skills. But if you are the type that you are not ready to listen, anything you are guided to, maybe your mentor guides you on what you will do. You are questioning it. You are asking questions. You are trying to take the one that will suit you. Let me tell you. Forget it. Do your that your own thing. Where you have learned, you know, there we have a lot of people here. One of our problem we have with most leaders is that there are a lot of people they learn from their mistakes. When they make a mistake, that is when they will learn. But when they make to guide them, they will think that man, I don't just take it like that. You learn from your mistakes. Avoid that in your life if you want to go far in life. Don't stop learning. Don't learn from your mistake. Leadership, let me tell you, leadership is just transfer. You see, leadership is end. You see, you learn it from the people. That's why you do it. You learn from the people that have attained to where you wanted to go. It makes things easier for you. You learn it. That's why a lot of systems, I have a lot of people I have mentored. In this business, people like Dr. Mbada that I, I, I mentor, do you think he passed through the hell of process we passed through? He just plugged in already built system and then connected to the mentor, connected to someone that is looking up to. Anything you want to do, he will come and ask me. Simple, come and ask me. And today, guess what? He even get, got more results than me. We have another person like Juliet. We have lo lots of them like that. It's not just one, it's not two, it's not three, it's not four, it's not five. A lot of people just learn from your mentor. And guess what normally happens? What normally happens is this. If you bend down, stay down and learn from your mentor, there is a possibility that you may be greater than your mentor. That is what happens. There is a possibility for you to be greater than your mentor. Because you did not make all the mistakes. The years it took your mentor to make mistakes, you are using, using that same time to learn, and you are not making the same mistake. That's why it is easy to learn <laughs> from mentor. So with all these seven steps, these are the seven steps it takes. These are the steps it takes to master skills. 
by tomorrow, now I want you to hear it. I will move into another version of the skills. I will start explaining the skills one after the other. There are some of us here. Before we even finish talking, you're already logging off. That's very, very wrong. Very, very wrong. You think you already know everything I will say. That is very, very wrong. By tomorrow, I will move into the skills proper. I will move into the, all the skills in this business. We have only seven skills you will must master. There are seven skills you must master, but out of these seven skills, there is one that is most important among the skills. There is one that is most important. You focus on the most important. Otherwise, you keep it. First of all, set a goal on that particular one that is most important. Work on it. When you master it, other ones can follow. Tomorrow you do that. I will start the skills properly tomorrow. You learn what you know what I know. And then you apply the same thing I'm doing in your business. So that you can get your results easily. That is it. So once again, I appreciate you all. Before we, I appreciate you all that have connected to the system. I love you all. Before we end it, I want to say something very, very key, very, very important before we end this meeting. 